uh, Ashley, Danny, thank you for taking your time to talk about your series. I, 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 let me just tell you something. I, I've been covering South by Southwest for the past four years in a row. I wanted to go this year physically because, because I, I, I just, I knew it was going to be huge this year, but I was, I had so many stuff on, on my, on my, on my, on my plate, but congratulations on, on being part of the event. Thank you so much. So, um, I, let me tell you something. Um, uh, Resetal Incluida was also part of, of South by Southwest last year, uh, which is another uh, Puerto Rican uh, uh, project. Uh, also, uh, the fishbowl made it to Sundance this year. Uh, you know, Puerto Ricans are taking over the world. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not lying. I'm not gonna say <laughs> like that. So, you know, how does it feel? I mean, how does it feel? The event is now over. We 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 we, we post. How are those post South by South feelings? I mean, for me, it was. I was very nervous before because this is like my first big festival and I've been working a lot, you know, like I, I've been working really hard and working a lot and like to be at this big festival and to know that there were some of my friends there too. Um, shout out to Christian Mercado. He had a feature film there that had Anthony Mackie in it. And it's called If You Were the Last. It's very, very good. Um, there was a couple other Puerto Rican directors and producers just there like hanging out. Shout out Dee Perez, all these other people. So it was really great to see them and to be included with such like a... Um, to be included with such talented people, you know what I mean? From all over. And, um, it was, it was very, um, it was very affirming for me. Um, and very, uh, like, 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 I don't know. It was, it was like, uh, it kind of, it, it kind of was heartbreaking because I had to let go of that part of myself that didn't want to believe in myself. And I had to now grab onto this new persona that I need to be to be successful and like enjoy the work and and uh feel worthy to be there and that was that was really special about South and it was good to do with your friend right like I, to do it with like one of like your really good friends that like helped like get you there and stuff like that it was just like really special and um I'm just really happy that we had that opportunity together I'm really grateful Ashley you want to add something yeah, I mean, it was it, it was cool to go to like free movies all week, <laughs> like movies and TV. Like, oh my god! Like, yes, can we do this all the time, please? Uh, and then for ours to be one of the free movies or free, you know, free like showings, like yes, like we. I, I love this for us. Um, yeah, it was so much fun. Um, the first screening was like really nerve wracking. Like, there's seven, you know, there's seven projects in our block. Uh, we don't know the order. We don't know when ours is going to come on. And everybody else in their projects, they don't know when theirs is going to come on. So everybody's just like tense waiting. And so we're like, you know, every, it was so nerve. Like you could just feel like the, the nervous energy. But then the second screening, because we already knew the order, we knew the questions, we knew, we knew everybody, we met everybody. Everyone was so relaxed. Everyone was laughing at the jokes. Like, the, you know, like it was like, okay, good, we're funny. Like, you know, and then we, you know, people are just like happy to be there. So the energy was just so different once like we got all our nervous energy out. Um, so, so yeah, that, that was just like this, like a really distinct sort of difference where like the first one was like, uh, and the second one was like, ah, cool, cool, cool. Great, we're here. <laughs> I, I, I want to talk about the characters, but first I want to know, how did this project came about? What what prompted you guys to what told you guys that we need to do this? There's something that we need to do. And I, and then you mentioned something right now that, that I, I'm glad you mentioned. And now you feel that you just broke out of your shell. And this did this project break you help you out. If one of the reasons they were trying to do it is to break out of that shell because I'm gonna talk about the characters later, but it, 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 it seems really personal. It seems really uh you know, we are speaking from from our point of view with the character so what prompted at this project Danny you first uh, okay um well uh just like I guess like to answer the first part of the question like what prompted the genesis of the project is we were on a Afro-Latina panel together shout out to Nidea Simone on Black Tina follow her uh we met we met each other there and I uh was just really like I was enamored by Ashley I was just like <laughs> when I'd watched her speak I was like wow this woman is so confident and she's so successful and uh she said she said a quote that has stuck with me forever and she said closed mouths don't get fed you know like you have to like go for what you want and I was like man I love her and so of course I followed her on Instagram I stalked her we followed each other and then I had like this other project that I've been very scared to write that I'm actually starting to write now um and I showed it to her and she's like this is fantastic let's uh talk and meet up and work together and I was like 
I was <laughs> starstruck. I was like, wow, this lady wants to work with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so we talked and we became fast friends. And then she was like, yeah, I have this like project idea um, that I want to help, uh, want to create with you. And then Chuchi and Adelise was born. She brought on her niece, who was also our writer's assistant and co-producer, Joseli Paniagua. She's amazing. Um, and we were just talking online for two years and uh, did like the Nalip thing, the Nalip um, media Latino market media. Summit, and got a lot of good feedback, but you know, like those things, like they're not always like sure if they like want to fund you or whatever. So we just kind of said, well, we'll just do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ashley wrote a lot of emails. She, she, she wrote a lot of emails, got us a lot of funding, has done like all of the, the stuff that I hate doing and wouldn't even know how to do in the first place and got us to where we are. And now we're here and, you know, we, we made something beautiful and, um, and like, I, I know it's a group effort, but I, I've been saying this time and time again, all hats off to Ashley because she's done things that I didn't even know I was capable of doing. And I'm really grateful to have been a part of this experience. Ashley, you want to add something? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> uh, no, well, how, what was the genesis of the of the of the project? How did it how did it came about? What prompted to you guys that? Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, what yeah, yeah. Okay. That you said we have to do this. Yeah, so I think I mean, uh, Danny uh, summarized the like the the initial like meeting of 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 minds. Um, I think what this story hinges on is that these characters are. Afro Puerto Rican. My dad's Afro Puerto Rican from the island, from Rio Piedra, Saludos a Barrio Venezuela. And, and Danny. Um, my mom's Afro Puerto Rican, pero de mucha parte, tú sabes. <laughs> She's like, nací en Santurce, have family in Loisa, and then they ended up in San Sebastián. So, <laughs> yeah. We're, we're, we're all Puerto Ricans. Everything's yeah. close, so don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, and Corozal. My, grandpa, my grandpa's from Corozal, and I, I remember my cousin saying, You didn't shout out Corozal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And this is why I get nervous. I'm like, we're from Tolo Palte. <laughs> yeah, so we, you know, because we have this very distinct, um, you know, specific similarity because, you know, one parent is Black and one parent isn't. And then we came out looking or where we confuse everyone when we walk into a room, you know, so it felt like a very distinct experience that we both shared. And I was like, well, this is the perfect opportunity to, to showcase this experience on screen and, and showcase that now, while they have, they're very similar on paper, they're still very distinct people. And that means that we're not, just because we're on the same on paper, doesn't mean that we're, we're all like robots, like, you know, behaving in the same way. And so these characters, we fashion them around, you know, Chuchi is an avatar for Oakland, Adelise is an avatar for San Francisco. So there's very distinct social and economic differences. Mm -hmm. Then you put them in a room together and it explodes. And so this is sort of the unraveling of that friendship. Um, and, and I felt like, um, you know, luckily Danny, like <laughs> was enthusiastic about it. Um, and, 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 and luckily Sapphire was too. Um, <laughs> and so, you know, we're like, we're just happy to be here. Um, and yes, yeah, so the genesis sort of just like, I want to do this thing and I've been wanting to do this thing. And I finally found the person to do it with. I, I want to talk about the characters and, and one of the things that stood out to me about the, the, the web series is, um, obviously, we're trying to reach a general audience with the story, but what stood out to me was that we kept the characters themselves. Uh, we we saw a lot of us. We saw a lot of, of, of Hispanic, a lot of Puerto Rican. We we didn't shy away from showing that side of uh, of our characters, of the characters. And I wonder what were you know how important was that for for you guys to make sure that we we maintain that that, that, that the, you know the, the Hispanic the Hispanic side the Puerto Rican side uh, on the characters without you know being too out there so we don't you know we don't get into trouble and we don't get people saying oh this is too this and too that how important was to balance that out uh, Danny you first I think for me as the director I, I I wanted to make sure that it was in the body language because we're so body first as Puerto Ricans like we're like mm, mm. we have a little bit of that we have a little bit of and we have a little bit of bochorna que tu hace, <laughs> you know, which is very, I think, very distinctly Puerto Rican. Like when you call, you call somebody a bochorna, if you love them, I feel like, I mean, I know it's kind of derogatory, but it's also like, it's like, you know, what's up nasty? What you doing? You know what I mean? Um, 
I wanted to, I wanted to make sure that we showed that in like, in, and not just like in um, being like, you know, overtly like stereotypical Puerto Rican, mm -hmm. uh, but also just like, like it, it's ingrained in us. It's something that's like, you know, it's something that we grew up with. It's something that is a part of our, like the way that we move our body. It's something, it's a, it's a part of the way that we view the world even. And I, I think that in the show, we, we see that like, even in the exaggeration, like, I don't know if you noticed, but in the first episode, there is an exaggeration of like the white bosses, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Where they're just like, oh, oh you just blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, like how we always like imitate yeah. those people and like from that point of view. And then like, she's just staying very still, you know, the whole time. So, uh, but you could see that she is very much Puerto Rican still in that stillness and in that white space of like, <laughs> you know I mean? which Ashley did beautifully because Adalise is a difficult character. She, she's very nuanced. She's very difficult. Um, she's not a complete monster, you know, like uh, she, 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 she had to grow up quickly, you know, and I think it shows and like, we got to have a little bit of empathy for that. Um, but yeah, we wanted to, we wanted to show those dynamics. And then with Chuchi just being like, you know, spazzy and like <laughs> excited like that. She's like, she's Titi chaos, you know, <laughs> like, okay, we're going to do all this. It's going to be so much fun, you know? <laughs> so those are the ways that I think we tried to ingrain that, like ingrain our culture into that, like, you know? Actually, you know, there's something? also a lot of um, vis uh, visual, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, or Easter eggs. Easter so, like, egg, yeah. Um, when you know there's the obviously we have the domino of the capipu we have yeah. like when danny or chuchi's danny's character chuchi is doing the prank calling my character's holding a greca pillow um uh in the in, in, ne in the next episode like danny's character is carrying a tote um it has a port it's like a puerto it has a puerto rican flag on it and then the shirt that i wear in the next episode said boricua so a lot of like little you know details that we were super intentional and yeah. a lot of those i got like from the island um when i like went um you know last year uh to visit family and stuff and so like it was there was a lot of like those little details so we also had these visual cues to feed into the story as well and then you know just writing in you know just even that montage we have the copy it was one of those where like because we had like a million ideas right so we have to pull back which ones do we not need and i was like no we need to keep a domino in there we're keeping yeah. the domino in there we're keeping the domino in there <laughs> I was like, whatever, we got to move. <laughs> <laughs> Why I was like, we, we had to do a reshoot because unfortunately that's just the nature of what happens. And, but it was, it was great because, uh, I mean, like Ashley was like, you know, I think we need to reshoot this one scene. I was like, I'm so glad you said that because I was feeling the same way. So then she wrote an amazing, like quick scene that ended up being perfect with like some room for improv. And I'm just like, I think I'm really glad we did it. Cause I think that that is like the heart of the story at the end of the day. So in a weird way. Uh, we're grateful for that reach. <laughs> people, people in Puerto Ricans will see it. They will see everything. Uh, they, they, they will see, they will feel the connection. One last question before I let you go, because I know you, you guys are really, uh, really busy right now. But I, I want to know, where are we, where, where, where we going to go next? Where are, are we expecting to go with Chiuchi and Adalis next? Maybe Hulu, maybe even Vix uh, Plus. We have so many platforms right now. Where where are we going? Are you going to tell us something? <laughs> Hulu, are you listening for <laughs> asking? Yeah, so we are, so we have an uh, Los Angeles premiere at a festival here. It hasn't been announced, so I won't name the festival, but there will be a premiere, an, L an LA premiere here in May or June, and they're going to show all five episodes. So okay. South by premiered the pilot, and this mm -hmm. festival is going to show all five, so you can see start to finish how they you know how this friendship unravels and how they all gossip with their friends about you know what happened or what 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 happened quote unquote mm -hmm. um, and and uh so that's the next like immediate step um we are looking for distribution so yes hulu uh, you know girl call, give us a call we're ready um yeah. hulu girl <laughs> <call> <laughs> Um, I, I, I loved your energy, and I think it's translated to the screen exceptionally. I say congratulations to the two of you on the project, and thank you for your time once again. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We're done. <laughs>